I'll see you next week. Bye. Sorry about that, it's just uh, this episode of The Fish Tank has been made by the same people who made the documentary about the Queen. So uh, there might be a few things that are in a mixed up order perhaps. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. I've not, uh, as I say, I'm not editing it this week. So hello and welcome to episode 26 of The Fish Tank. And I've now been going for six months, so I'm rather similar to Sting, shall we say. And uh, it's the first episode of The Fish Tank that I'm actually doing while I'm stood up, so I can, I can like sort of you know, walk around over here somewhere or go like that. Or, you know, pretend to go downstairs. Just a bit of fun. I'm on my joke. I'm not actually going anywhere. So uh, a few facts about the fish tank. Uh, in 26 weeks, I've had my hair cut once. Interesting little fact. And I've never worn the same top on two occasions. Every week I've worn a different top. So there you go. So yeah, it's time to get absolutely cracking with the show. And it's time for Apology of the Week, as ever at this, uh, this point of the show. And this week I'd like to apologise to the people of Newcastle. After last week, I said that their place was filled with litter... Uh, pollution, waste, fag ends and rubbish. So uh, sorry about that because I left out that you have ridiculously high rates of crime and, of, and uh, you're a place full of quite dodgy people. I, I only have to apologise because someone actually rang me up from Newcastle and said uh, something along the lines of, I like my new album, I think it's really unfair, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be doing that, you know, man. Or something along those lines, I can't, can't really tell what I was saying. I, th I, th I think he was complaining, but I'm not, not fully sure. Right, so uh, what's been happening this week? Well, hmm... It's a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? Let's face it. Because Harry Potter mania has swept through the country. At Morrison's World Work, we sold the book for four ninety nine, and we'd totally sold 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 out by Saturday evening. So uh, I'm I'm surprised at how fast they sold, to be honest. But I suppose it is meant to be the fastest selling book in the in history ever. So I shouldn't really be that surprised. But what I can't work out about Harry Potter is why, if he wears glasses. You know, he's a magician. Can't you just cure whatever problem he's got with his eyesight? Can't can't be beyond the possibilities of uh, magic, you would have thought. And there's also the films, which people, like, complain that there's continuity errors in the films. Like, at one point, someone will be sat behind one table, then next next time the camera sort of cuts to them, they'll be sat on the other side of the table. But it's a magic school, so they can get away with it, can't they? So uh, what else has been happening? Uh, David Beckham has uh, played his first match, I think he played 12 minutes for the LA Galaxy, He's, uh, he's been playing quite a lot in central midfield for Real Madrid, but um, for the LA Galaxy, he played on the wing. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't actually fall off the aeroplane, but we can only hope. And uh, what else has been going on? Well, uh, I've actually got quite a, a... I was spotted when I was at work the other day. I was just uh, just putting some things on the shelf, and someone walked past me and goes, All right, fish tank. That was, that's a gen genuinely true. Someone actually saw me and recognised me from being on the fish tank. So uh, I'm very pleased about that. And also, yesterday... Uh, one, one sort of like new lass at our work, uh, a pot of paint fell on her and absolutely covered her, like knee down, covered her shoes and everything, and she was just sort of totally covered in paint, which was uh, a bit harsh. She was a bit upset. I told her to stop getting so emotional. But that didn't go down too well, unsurprisingly. But there you go. So, uh, anyway, it's time for the celeb ometer this week. And which celebrities can we have on the show? Um, well, I'm not sure, really. Anyone. Uh, basically, I, but I would like to have a victim of the floods because uh, there's been floods in the south of England this time to come up and compare north versus south, you have a bit of a competition what, what it's been like flooded because there's been terrible floods Reading is, uh, is just a total mess and it's just an horrendous place at the moment actually it's not been hit by the floods, it's just like that anyway so uh, there you go so if you've been affected by a flood, feel free to uh, you know, get in touch, see if you can get up here might even give you a bit of food and a bit of water because I understand you've not got much down there, except from the floods, obviously. And uh, you can appear on the show. So it's time for headline of the week. And uh, this headline is from the Times, I think, but I'm not fully sure. And it says, Grandmother of eight gets hole in one. So uh, I'm not sure, perhaps she shot one of her eight grandchildren to put a hole in them. Or it could be referring to golf, perhaps, with the... Uh, it's a bit of a topical one, as it was the um, Open Golf Tournament the other day. And it was won by Podrick Carrington, a, uh, a European to uh, win a major. Always a, always a good thing for you keen golfers out there. I think, I'm not sure he said when he probably, probably just said, Harry, you know, it's absolutely great to win this tournament. I've been trained lad when I was, since I was a young lad and all that kind of thing. And uh, this quote of the week now comes from Murray Walker. And he says, Cars are going off the track, right, left and centre. So quite our car centrally goes off the track. Perhaps it's I don't know, flown off the track, sort of Harry Potter like. Perhaps I don't know. I'm not sure. Not sure how I managed that. That's Murray Walker. 
he's a bald man. There you go. So that's, uh, that brings an end to the first six months of the fish tank. So uh, I hope you've really enjoyed it. And uh, I'll leave you with news that the world's best, uh, Britain's best door-to-door -door salesman died yesterday. And apparently when it came to put him, in, put him in the coffin, it took him about four hours to get him in. So whenever he tried to shut the lid, he kept jamming his foot in it. So there you go. I'll see you next week. Bye.